Hey guys, do you ever wake up in a bad mood for no reason? You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so that's how I woke up today. And trust me, I did, I had planned to make a video and I, I always wanna get into a good space before I do this because I'm aware that the energy I have in me, I'm projecting it to you guys. So I just, I mean, first this disclaimer, okay? This is this is my mood. It has nothing to do with, with any of you. I love you guys. You guys are the light of my life right now, <laughs> okay? Um, and I did everything I could to try to snap out of this bad mood. Like I, I exercised, I ate something, I meditated, I went outside. It's really nice outside. Um, I listened to music like that usually lifts my spirits and like nothing fucking worked, okay? So I'm just in a bad mood. I'm just angry. And, you know, I was like, I think we can make it work, okay? We're going to talk about anger today and the anger you experience after after you leave the narcissist because there's a lot there's so much anger okay um but anyway before I get into that um when you do wake up in a bad mood or if you get a mood swing that just seems to come out of nowhere you know like like I went to sleep happy last night there's there's no reason why I should have woken up angry okay I'm gonna tell you something. 90% um, of the emotions that you feel are not even yours. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, okay, you have, we have our own consciousness, right? But there's also this thing called the collective consciousness, which is, it's basically, it's, it's the consciousness, the thoughts, awareness of everybody on the planet and everybody who has ever been on the planet, okay? It's, it's the collective consciousness. And so um, sometimes when you go to sleep at night, you know how I mentioned in a previous video how we're all connected through empathy, right? So there's, there's actually, there's a visceral function for that. Like, let's say we're all cave people, okay? <laughs> or like, whatever, we're like, we're tribe living in the wild and if, you know, somebody else in our tribe like is in danger or, you know, something really bad is happening and you pick up on that, it's like, it's like our way of letting each other know or that somebody else is in danger or that there's an imminent threat. It's a, it's a survival thing. So that, that is one reason why, why we connect to everybody's consciousness, why there's a collective consciousness that we can tap into. It's, it's to serve everybody. Okay, it's like it's like a database of emotions that is available to to help, basically. Okay, but in in cases like this, when you wake up in a bad mood, that shit is not helping. It's not helping me. Okay, but yeah. So you're sleeping. Your your consciousness is it's open. You're you're relaxed, right? Your your you know your defenses are down and you may pick up on somebody else's emotions, somebody else's consciousness comes through you and you have a bad mood for no reason. And this is what will happen a lot of times is you'll, you won't know that you're picking up on somebody else. So maybe as an empath, maybe you're already tuned into this so you're aware, but yeah, you just, you tend to think that it's it's your emotions coming from somewhere and then and then you'll adopt it and try to you try to make it match to something that's going on in your life or something that happened that maybe you overlooked and then you're like okay i think this is why i'm angry and then and then you make it your own which sucks because it wasn't um sorry i sound angry um but that's in that way we we can transmute energy right so if you pick up on a bad mood or a bad vibe and if you do the work, you do the work to make that emotion, turn that emotion into a positive one, you just transmuted somebody else's negative energy and you you contributed to the well-being of, of everybody by doing that. And some of us did come here to do that, okay? Don't get me wrong. Like, if you identify as a light worker, as a, you know, someone who transmute, transmutes energy, 
like for the greater good of all like some of us do that do do that by you know by nature um but like i don't fucking always want to be transmuting someone's energy you know like fucking do that shit yourself like i'm tired like i need a day off okay transmute your own energy um okay anyway um fuck it okay alcohol will actually also contribute to anger but like i don't i don't care right now okay so after you leave the narcissist right you're gonna you're gonna experience the five stages of grieving like like you would with anything else that that you lose or you know that that changes and you you know you have to deal with the loss of that so like for me the rampage right that was oh sorry first the five stages of grief right there denial anger um bargaining acceptance and sadness i don't know i don't know if i got that right i studied it a long time ago but yeah the, the different stages and so when i was on my rampage maybe i'd call that denial right but but not denial in a bad way just after you leave the narcissist it's like you want to feel something different like you're like Okay, healing, like you can wait, okay? I'm just, I want to know what it's nice to feel good again. To not be scared, not be worried about something. Just to have fun, okay? But maybe that could be categorized as denial. Okay, so after I did that, I did that in Las Vegas during COVID on the government's dime, right? Everybody's getting unemployment. And you're just like running loose on the strip, like having a party. That was a lot of fun. Okay, but after the COVID summer was over, um, you know, everybody kind of got back to reality. I got my own place in, first I was staying with friends, but after that I got my own place in fucking shithole Northern Las Vegas. Sorry, okay, Las Vegas is great and it's the worst. Um, but Northern Las Vegas is really ghetto and it's, it's, don't live there, okay? Um, but I got, but I did. I got my own place, and I thought it was great. I needed my own space to process because I'd been putting my processing on hold. So, got my own place. Spent a shit ton of time alone, and all the emotions that I had kept at bay, they started to come through. And the main one I had at that time it wasn't sadness. Okay, I think. I had I had a lot of sadness while I was having my party, kind of both of them at the same time. And then when I got to sit alone with by myself, it was anger and it was it was every fucking day, man. Like I I wake up in the morning and this is during COVID, so I was basically in isolation. I wasn't I wasn't seeing my friends. Like I had a lot of friends there who were there for me. They were there for me in a heartbeat, but when you're going through this this kind of thing, I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't necessarily want to be around other people. Like, I know how shitty I feel. I don't want to make them feel what I feel. I don't want to emotionally dump on other people. And I also, I don't want to talk about what I'm going through, you know, uh, unless I need help. But like, no, really, if the information that you seek the advice it can all be found within you you really don't need anyone else's advice okay you each person knows exactly you know more of what you need than anybody else can tell you all right so yeah i i don't want to talk about my problems with anyone and i don't want to be around other people and have to pretend to be in a good mood i just wanted to be okay and i wanted to be angry i mean i didn't want to be angry but if that's what i was feeling I don't want to have to feel bad about it, okay? So, every fucking day, I'm telling you, I wake up in Las Ve northern Las Vegas, which there's, like, ghetto pe You know, it was just, like, the ghetto. Like, people were shitty outside of my apartment. And I had to, like, you hear them through the walls, and they're just, like, all doing 
just like bad attitudes and just like not living life right. I mean, not that I'm passing judgment on people, but you know, whatever. So I'm already in a shitty environment and I wake up in the morning brushing my teeth and I'm angry. I'm at all the, all the things, the discard, that bitch, you know, picking a fight with me and like all the things, every single incident that my narcissist did that hurt me, you know, it, it was a purging, like every memory, you gotta get, you get angry about it and like it comes up and, and you, you should, you should let it come up because you can't, if you, if you try to stop it, stop it from coming through, it's, that's just gonna manifest disease in your body in one way or another, okay? So it's it's a good thing to have this time alone, but it also, it also really fucking sucks. It, it, it's not fun, it doesn't feel good. But yeah, it was like every day, a new memory would come up, come up in my brain and I'd be like, fuck, I'm so angry about that. And, and that was like, it was like Groundhog Day in hell, literally, because Las Vegas is so hot. Um, and I just, I watched, this is what I did. I watched a bunch of sad, mad movies. Um, I watched a lot of World War II movies. I don't know why I, f I found that comforting for some reason, but not like, not like on the part of the Nazis, like on the part of the people who survived you know, that, like, I found it really inspiring in a way, like, when the Nazis, when some Nazis would even, their humanity would take over and they would protect the J Jewish people. Like, I really like that. So yeah, but I just, I watched a lot of TV. Um, I, I woke up in the morning and this is my day. I would go to the gas station, like 8 a.m. I would buy like a fifth of Jameson and a bottle of wine because it was, it was cheap. And and you know, the funny part about Las Vegas is when you're doing that, you don't feel like it's generate. I mean, inside you know you are, but you don't feel like that because everybody's drinking at like all hours of the day. So it kind of, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. Definitely not a good thing, but yeah. Every day I wake up, buy my Jameson, buy a bottle of wine. I would be, I don't want to say shit-faced by like, two and yeah it it was really hard it was really hard and and then the people that care about you they're gonna they're gonna try to check up on you and they're gonna mean they're gonna mean well and i'm telling you if you can help it don't don't lash out on them okay they're they're your lifeline even even though you need this time alone to process don't try not to take your anger out on them, even though like it is at times it's gonna feel like, fuck, leave, just leave me the fuck alone. Like I'm the same as I was yesterday. Like I'm not, I'm not, nothing changed. I'm angry, I'm just angry, okay? I'm like, I'm coming to terms with like everything that fucking happened and nothing you can say or do is gonna like help me. And don't say that, don't say that to them, okay? Like it's really, it's really mean. Um, but that's how, that's what it feels like. So, um, yeah, anger. Yeah, that's gonna, I don't know how long that'll last. It'll, it'll come and go. But like, yeah, I would wake up with nightmares, night, nightmares of anger, not nightmares of fear, but you know, there, there'll be some sadness. Like you'll still cry, but I was mostly, I was mostly fucking angry and you just, uh, you just gotta feel it, you know? Um, but, oh, I feel better. <laughs> a little, I feel a little better, okay? Um, but yeah, so that was anger. Um, I woke up with anger today. I don't think it was mine, but I'm gonna try to get through the rest of my day. Okay, but yeah, so healing from the narcissist, it's just, it's not all fucking rainbows and sunshine, like I said in my last video, like, oh, I'm thriving. Yeah, okay. I mean, no, I am thriving now. I am thriving now. But 
all the, the negative emotions, that is a very real part of it. And don't be ashamed of it. Okay. Bring it on. Like what I think about, like when you hit rock bottom is there's a certain comfort in being at rock bottom because you can kind of relax because you're at rock bottom. It's not going to get any worse than this. Okay. There's only, you can only go up from rock bottom. So anyway, I hope that was helpful to somebody. It was kind of helpful to me. I feel, I feel a little lighter. So thank you. And again, none of that projected on you guys. I love you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Okay. Bye.